Hi guys, welcome back to the PVAS show. This is my fourth episode, and today I have two special guests, celebrity pet designers from New York City, the top notch. Hi guys. Hi, hello. Hi, hi. thank hello. you for having us. Yes, Very I have exciting. Roberto Negrin and Ada Nieves. Yes. Thank you. Yes. So you guys brought your pets with you, you guys have some designs you're gonna show us, and you're gonna talk to us about how you guys got involved in this. How did you guys get involved? Mm-hmm. Did you want to start? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, to both. Long story. <laughs> well, this one, let me introduce you first to Athena. Athena is my latest puppy that I have. Oh. And she's just one year old. Would you? And I just got her recently about five months ago. So mm-hmm. going back to your question, um, I started I start into this fashion industry also f- thanks to Aidan Yebe who inspired me <laughs> and to my dogs, Heckling. Uh, that's my poodle. She's not to dress now. me, just in case. Not to dress me, yeah, that's for sure. Um. So I started designing clothes for dogs when I was like three, four years ago. And I was always going out and seeing everybody in their dogs and fashion saying we heard about a beauty pageant for those and I wanted to be part of it. Okay. Though I was like none of the regular clothes that I go to different regular stores fits mm-hmm. my personality. So without knowing anything about sewing, I went to my mother's house who have a little knowledge of it and I said, Mom, I need to make a clothes for my dog. <laughs> and the funniest thing is that she was like, What? First of all, she doesn't like dogs. Okay. And then we decided, you know, she helped me through the whole process, teaching me the basics of how to start sewing. We figure out the patterns and we made her the gown for my, for my poodle heckling. The thing happened was, the, the next step was that she won the best dress in different categories and was also the first runner up for the crown wearing my designs. After that, the, a whole new journey started. People start coming and asking for our dresses. We start making costumes, dabbing wow. on the press. You know, my clients start winning contests. One of them was the Pope that I made for a well-known oh, wow. Chihuahua that is a celebrity. His name is Eli and he was all, all over the press. Also then last year for Halloween, I made the Pharaoh costume or Egyptians and it was all over international press too as well. So that was awesome. basically how I start sewing because of my dogs and you know and every day is a new challenge for us so we are learning new things to do. Nima, what about you Ada? Well you know I have a little uh, longer of a background. I started in 2005 when I was watching the Oscars and I wanted my dog to have gowns similar to what the actresses were wearing on the red carpet. So I watched the Oscars on that on February of 2005 and as the actresses were walking on the, on, the, on the red carpet, I thought, okay, that dress is good for Vanilla, the other one is not, you know, I started comparing. The following day, I just went to the fabric store, bought all the fabric, the design, made the gowns, and uh, little that I know, in a couple of days, I had a photographer that came and took pictures. It was for us, you know, just, just a little picture that I wanted my doggy, but the pictures went international. Nice. And I received calls from Diane Sawyer and, and from uh, different media. I had people Perfect. coming from uh, the Dutch, the French, the Italians. Everybody came to my, to my little humble apartment on the Lower East Side Uh-oh. to, you know, to film my dogs wearing the Oscar gowns. Wow. And then since then, um, you know, we started like in a, in a drum roll. My dog started to work professionally. And then so the designs started to become a little more complicated and more, you know, detailed. Detail, yeah. And then... Um, when a couple of years ago, the Fashion Institute of Technology here in New York City decided to give a, a certificate for us for pet fashion designers for the first time, I jumped into it right away, and I am their first graduate. Ooh! Yes, congratulations! Yes. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that will if that will mean that I'm the oldest or what, but, <laughs> <laughs> but for sure the first one. <laughs> but I am the first one who got the certificate. I couldn't wait. I was so excited, so happy, and so proud. And of course, I met um, a lot of amazing people that are into the same industry and doing the same type of things. And uh, you know, uh, now what is your dog's name? This is Vanilla Salt. Vanilla, Vanilla Salt, Salt Nieves. Ooh. Yes, and she is, and she is one of five. I have of five. O, of five. I have also uh, Mojito Bandit, Margarita Ooh. Veal. Ooh. Um, I I just uh, got Kalua Royal. And the Chihuahua champion, the only one in New York City that lives in the city, uh, my champion uh, Tabasco Chili Pepper. 
Chili pepper. <laughs> yeah, but the, the main fits wow. him. Don't ask. You know, you have to meet him to know. And then, of course, you know, in in the entourage, we added the cat that we rescued a year cat. ago. A, a cat. Yes, a cat. Yes, a cat. I, I don't know. Some people think that he's a lion, like a mountain lion. Uh, his <laughs> name is Martini Beethoven. And he also oh get dressed. Yes. Oh, you have to see him in tuxedos. You gave cats. him. You gave him the long, the long Spanish names. You have like the. I'm a Latina, <laughs> mi fiero, You know, I have to add some flavor to it. That's <laughs> right, baby. That's right. <laughs> now, um, so you say you have five animals. I have five chihuahuas and a cat. I, 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 I also, I also, I also do fosters, and I, I do, you know, a lot of little babysitting you can call with okay. the, when it comes to chihuahua because i run the new york city chihuahua meetup okay. we have over 900 members what's up with you and the chihuahuas uh, i just love the breed <laughs> i think they're fantastic I, I love their temperament they're very easy to take with you everywhere um you know uh, it's the companionship of you know having something with you that gives you that uh, yeah. like a little safety blanket you know that that comfort feeling the breed is fantastic. They're very smart. They're playful, mm -hmm. loving. So I know I I, I always love Chihuahuas yeah. ever since I was a little kid. I had and they a, and I and I also think you know uh, the it is believed that their origins are Mexico. I am from Puerto Rico, not from Mexico, you know. Okay. But is is that link to my Hispanic heritage, heritage exactly. that keeps me attracted to the breed and and you know I'm a strong uh, advocate for them. No, and so in our cool. club, probably, I mean, if it's true, there's a saying that, you know, chihuahuas are like potato chips. You, need, you can't have just one. You know, <laughs> if we have 900 members, so if the count goes right, we have close to probably 3,000 chihuahuas in our club. Wow. And, they, and they are, you know, chihuahua, chihuahua mixes because we advocate rescuing and, and we're very much involved in that. Uh, cool. You know, there's no discrimination. <laughs> <laughs> it could have a blood of Chihuahua in it, and I'm happy, and they can come and join us and through all the events that we do throughout the year. That's awesome. And how many pets do you have? Well, I have two Chihuahuas. I have in total four dogs. I have two Chihuahuas, Athena and DJ. Mm -hmm. I have a Poodle, miniature Poodle. That, her name is Heglin. That's the one who, we, who started all this crazy yeah. thing about fashion with pets. And I have to say, has a better head than I do. <laughs> yes. I am very <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Styles, and I envy that dog. Oh my yeah, god, I know she's she's look good. Yeah, she's the envy of every dogs and and girls with her natural hair that <laughs> I, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> but also I have a Avi, my little Yorkie mix with silky okay. terrier. Or oh, sometimes my friend always mess up with me bothering, mm -hmm. saying that she's my little forky. Oh <laughs> <laughs> because she's a fake oh, Yorkie. My love so good. Her. <laughs> but it's okay, I love my dogs. Yeah. <laughs> All of them as well have their own professional career, modeling. Athena was featured recently also with the, chi the, with the Chihuahua Gang Nieves um, mm -hmm. Glamour magazine. Nice. They were featured on it. Heckling's been all over the place in international places, from New York to Daily News to China Press and India, featuring my designs. It's kind of one thing kind of goes with the other because yeah. you started doing fashions and then the dogs start to get attention. Sure. And then the people that are in the industry sure. that they use animals as for, you know, let's say for props or modern, whatever the situation it is, you know, yeah. they notice them. Exactly. And then so they get calls to do that. Like my, you know, my, my gang, like, you know, we call them the, the gang. Nieves the gang. The Nieves gang. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many already that it's hard to keep up with my own, yeah. with my own pets. Oh my God. But <laughs> to mention one by name like this yeah, one, this so one, this yeah, one is too you know much. What? Don't ask me my name when you ask my dog's name because I, I probably won't remember. Yes. But the thing is, you know, we call them the Nieves gang just to make it short and sweet. Um, uh, you know, they, they all have done uh, professional work in the media, TV commercials, sure. magazines. Yeah, I've been, I've been watching you guys. I mean, I've seen you guys, like all your pets everywhere. Yes, so yes. And then thanks to them, I also uh, had the opportunity to become a pet stylist for a few shows, like on Teddy Rock and NBC. Nice. I dress up some dogs for an episode of them. <laughs> uh, recently, I did MTV. Where I, I saw that. Yes, where oh, I yes. had to do the reenactment of the, of the Lady the, Gaga, the, the winners of the MTV Awards the previous, of the previous okay. year, and then we we did the reenactment and every single outfit that the dogs had were an exact replica of what the uh, the winners the actual, had on stage. Yeah. I saw the uh, video you posted once. It was with the Lady Gaga outfit. It was a meat 
Is meat, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, it, it 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 was a challenge because they 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 present to me the project, and of course, I have to do something that it has to create that same wow effect. Exactly. You know, how can you compete yeah. with Lady Gaga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Well, I, you know, so you know, the funny thing, I go to the supermarket and I decided to do a meat dress for the dog too. So there was all sort of questions like, are the dogs going to eat it? Uh, my dog won't eat it, but are the other dogs going to want to come and eat it. So, <laughs> it, it, you know, I went to the research trying to figure out what, how I was going to do that. Exactly. So, first step, I went to the supermarket to check on the meat because meats, they come in different weights and colors. Hey, yeah, you know, exactly. figure that one out. You know, I'm not, I'm not a butcher, so I learned a lot. <laughs> so, and, um, I went to the supermarket and I, and I discovered bacon. <laughs> oh I discovered bacon for the outfit and then so that's what I use. I had to dye it and make it a stronger color wow. because bacon is not as red as the dress that Lady Gaga yeah. originally wore. So I, I kind of painted it in red but I nice. used the bacon, I treated it lots of hairspray so it wouldn't smell like meat and the other dogs yeah, wouldn't yeah, yeah. jump into it exactly it. yeah so and then uh the, i did the boots the the handbag uh they had the dress the whole oh thing God. so <laughs> and you know it was a success i'm happy i'm very That's happy good. uh you know we also did britney spears uh, oh, yeah. that was my favorite i love britney spears so oh, what well, do you my do my Hold on. well you know i'm going back to my age you you know i go for oh. share <laughs> Oh my She's my sexy one. <laughs> yeah, but it's very challenging when you are yeah, doing it's costumes very for dogs because you have to make sure that are wearable for them, that they are completely safety as well. So it's always mm -hmm. a challenge. And every time we are working on these kind of projects exactly. that we are doing mm -hmm. costumes, we have to count those things because at the end, it's not just about showing the fashion and having fun with it, but yes, as well, we have absolutely. to make sure that the dogs are comfortable mm -hmm. and that they can walk. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, I, mean, I can only imagine, I mean, especially you know, because the dogs have to be comfortable. Yes. And you don't yes. know that because they don't speak yes. for yes. themselves. Yes. But, I mean, you know, and that's, making that's, them that's, like that's, that. that's where professionals Fashion. enter, you see? Because exactly. it's, it's not just dressing up a dog. It's finding the right fabric, fabric. Exactly. the right colors, because if you Sorry. want the animal to stand out, no. you, you have to look for the colors of their coat and try to get something that is going to make them look Amazing. Uh, yeah, amazing. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. To bring yeah. them up, you know, <laughs> yeah, natural coating. Bring, bring life to the natural coating. Uh, exactly. Or, you know, if you go something like like this one, for example, I believe in collaboration. That's why I love working with Roberto. Yes. I love working with different designers. For me, uh, you know, I, I, am, I just love being surrounded by people that are creative. Exactly. Because like my juices, you know, yeah, you take, get, take from there, you yeah, know, I, you I just, I, I, that's like my biggest enjoyment. And, and to create a community where all, where we all support each other and we work together. So this one, I didn't make it. Okay. I have a friend, her name is Susan Allen and she makes sweaters for dogs. Okay. So we're working now again, collab going back to the collaboration. Okay. She made me this, this beautiful sweater where you know, we talk about it and she added this skirt. So nice. even that, you know, it's great for winter because it's going to keep her warm. But at the same time, it's not going to take away the elegance mm -hmm. and, and the, you know, the girly and the feeling and the fashion. They were the girly type of feeling because I, I treat them like if they were like my kids. I know they're not children. I don't want anybody <laughs> to jump on me <laughs> saying, you know, wow, you know, they're not children. Of don't course, of course not. They're not children. But to me, you know, I love mine like if they were my kids. Of course. And then... You know, this is not something uh, shallow to do either, because especially like with smaller dogs, the temperature here, you know, we're in the eastern region, temperature drops a lot exactly. and it's a lot colder. So they do need something to yeah, keep to the keep warm the of their body. Up. We're just doing it in fashion, fashion make it more fun. <laughs> that's all. Not that's fun. all. You yeah. still need it and we're just spicing yeah, it just make, Yeah, you know, you, you, <laughs> nice. it's, it's, if you're going to do something, do it right. So, yeah, you know, exactly. so that's what we're doing. So, you know, but, but, but do you get a lot of flack from making dog? I mean, design for dogs? Like, do people ever come up to you like, oh, why are you doing this? Or 
you know. Well, you have both sides, yes. you know, and both sides and are everything. very are very passionate. Like everything in life, you have the you know the exactly. ones that agree, the ones that don't, don't agree. agree. The ones that don't agree, I respect their opinion, but I just keep my ears shut and exactly. keep going because I have a goal and I have already an objective that I'm doing. Again, I, I respect them and, and and you know, and I always say, well, you don't like it, you just don't do it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's as simple as that, you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, but but if you enjoy it, you know, there's also a way of doing it in a way where we do it correctly as a professionals mm -hmm. and then we bring education through it exactly. you know because you guys like, do a lot of fundraisers yes. and there's always something behind it yes. that's positive exactly. you know, yes so. yes no we do you know of course you're not gonna i mean of course my dogs at home are naked <laughs> they are like lady, lady godiva they're naked but <laughs> when we come out people expect them to be wearing something because that's what we do and exactly. they, they are already understanding you know that's the personality that's who we are and they expect to see something exactly. and sometimes it's uh, a little challenging because yeah. then you know when you have yeah. that expectation you know it's a big weight on your shoulders, on your shoulders and you exactly. and there's always uh you know always trying to figure out what is going to be the next, the step. next step and mm -hmm. it's not easy it's a lot of sleep sl sleepless nights <laughs> <laughs> a lot of work let's say because sometimes when you wake up one day you are deciding and you say i just want to make one dress for my dog and that's it and go and have fun but sometimes you just don't want to dress up your dog sometimes i'm lazy i just want to carry my dog and you know yeah. just go for a typical walk uh -huh. but when you go out, people are expecting you already yes, you to have, have your yeah. job yeah. with a dress. Not just because you are a designer, but that's like the signature mark that we have. Mm -hmm. So every time they see us, they are expecting our dress to look fabulous. Exactly. So sometimes we go out like a mess, but if they are great, that yeah, works no, for yeah, us. because nobody's looking at us. They never. <laughs> I can, you know, I can have, a, a, you know, a, a, a bag over my hand that people don't, wouldn't even notice. But <laughs> it, and it's not because, like, like, you know, when I first started in 2005, it, this was not something common in the city. So obviously, I turned around a lot of heads of me walking yeah, with my see? dogs all dressed yeah. up. Now it is something so common that if she doesn't have anything on, then they look at me, oh, a dog yeah, naked. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what happened? Something is wrong. I say, okay, you know. So now, do you um, when you guys? How, how did you guys meet? And I mean, because I know you guys are both totally two different designers. Mm -hmm. Yes. And yeah. how did you guys meet? And do you guys feel like you guys are a threat to each other, or you're a threat what? to me? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really funny. That's a good, really good question that you're having because I the first day that for that competition, the beauty pageant, that's when I met Ada. Mm -hmm. At the end of the show, Ada was outside and I was coming out and Ada and I met and we were all... I, complimenting I, I, each other. Yeah, we were complimenting each other and I knew about her because of her background. She's been already, as I said before, she also inspired me as Latina that she is. When I saw her, I was like, well, she's Latina. Okay. She have a big accent as me when we speak English. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, yeah. you know, if she did it, I can do it. But showing my own perspective, my own point of view, she mm -hmm. have, you know, I don't think we are trained by each other no, because no. I think there That's is good. business for everyone in this mm -hmm. industry. And also mm -hmm. we are trying to encourage more people to yes. wear involved exactly. because mm -hmm. it's not fun. If we are just competing, me and Ada, ah, grabbing our hair, that doesn't <laughs> yeah. make sense. Yeah. So me and Ada have a, re a pretty good relationship. Mm -hmm. We're also working in a new line. Oh, nice. That we are working together for dogs. Also, we have more events coming in, so that we are okay. really excited that we'll be showing in the future. And it's a lot of fun with no bad feelings to each other, you know. We just design and have you know, fun, and we let the people yeah. to take well, care of them. Well, you know, the, the, I mean, we, st we started doing this because we love our Sometimes. animals, and animals are, you know, supposed to bond, each, you know, people around, and, exactly. you know, they give you comfort, and that. that look at this, I mean. Look how comfortable they are. Yeah, you know, well, they're, talking, they're, they're just know, They're fun. like sleeping, if we relaxing. Had the, we had the same. <laughs> we had the same passion about our animals, and at the end, it's it's not really about the fashion. It's really about the love and the bonding that we have with our pets and how yes. we share that, and we just show it through, you know, something that we find fun and creative to do. Good. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now, I, want, I know you guys brought me some clothes, and I wanted to see if you guys can show me what you guys made. Oh, really? Okay, so, oh, really? well, I talked already about uh, the sweater that, that my friend Susan is making yes. for me, and we're going to have plenty. Yeah. I love that. Yes. Yeah. We yes. have one here, guys. This is made by Heckling Couture. Yes, that's one of my designs. Actually, I made this dress for the Alzheimer Association, a fundraiser event. Mm -hmm. uh, we, so you guys can see that we just not support 
dog events and education about awareness and adoptions and spay and neuter. We also like to support other, is, well, I'm sorry to correct myself, but we also like to support other organizations other that are not dog related uh -huh. exactly. mm -hmm. because they are getting more educated as Ada said before. Mm -hmm. Before probably was not com so common, but now people is getting more involved and in paying attention to the dog. Mm -hmm. So we made this dress for this organization to match the thing of the party that they were having at the event at that gala. And we are selling, it was one of the items for the silent auction nice. that we designed. You know, I had feathers, Swarovski crystal elements that were beaded to this dress. And as I said, it's comfortable, wearable for the dogs. And, and, and how long does it usually pretty. take you to make a dress like this? Well, to make a dress like this, every, well, every dress is like a new challenge for us because we are creating. I personally am always creating as mm -hmm. Ada too, so exactly. we, we don't know how long it's going to take. Sometimes you put one dress on hold until the inspiration <laughs> comes out. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you can make a dress in two, three hours, but sometimes it could take you 12 hours. Because once you get that juice, you can't stop. Yes. Exactly. Uh, you have you you have just to do it. You have just to finish it because it's like you know, seeing you know uh, your your art coming yeah. to life. Exactly. And yeah, it's like art. That's that's how we classify our pieces. More like pieces of art. We don't like to repeat dresses. We make every single line, uh, dress that we do is high one couture, time. one made yes. for a specific client yes. because. It's boring when you go out. <laughs> also listen, for us yeah, to make the yeah, same dress. Well, listen, boring. okay. <laughs> we don't want, you know, now because there are so many pet friendly <laughs> events in the city or, or around the that. nation, let's just say, you know. But just like us, you know, we don't want our pets to be wearing the same outfit that another exactly. pet is wearing because yeah. then we get embarrassed and then they think, oh, well, what, <laughs> you know. What happened? Or you know, you wear the he, same. He might get jealous. Of so, well, well, I don't know. <laughs> See, no, see, the, they, they, the, the owners, the, the owners will get up. <laughs> yes, yes. They don't like to do that. And then, you know, it takes away from the fun. So exactly. it, 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 it shows more uh, on, on the creativity part of, of, of the person who's, who's, oh, who's, doing it. who's the owners of the dog. Yes, exactly. Because it's just, I mean, I know exactly what you're saying, because like um, with photography, when I do photography, I don't ever want to create the same thing again. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. I want to change it again. Whatever it is that I'm feeling, I got to get inspired. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's all about inspiration. It, take, it could take hours. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I know. Mm -hmm. and and it basically, could take days, too. <laughs> yeah, and also, as you can see, all these drays, we don't have nobody making them for us. We are making and working That's hours, it. supervising mm -hmm. every single detail to make mm -hmm. sure that exactly. when we deliver these creations, they are well made and according to our expectation with that signature. And we, each one of us extra touch exactly. because you can tell you can see the difference for every single designer oh this one is this designer you can even tell just to watching other dresses so mm -hmm. that's you know yeah. that's what well, makes once, them special once, once you are in, in in the same environment let's say uh you know a person that then understand and knows all the different pet fashion designers that are available out there once they see an outfit they know instantly who it belongs to yes. nice because uh -huh. you made your own signature yeah because yeah. we are all so different even that we're doing the same, same but each of us has like a different eye a different vision of what exactly. you know they feel like the pet has to look okay? now did you guys ever like ha when you have you guys ever had a competition against each other well, we don't compete to each other. Our maybe clients not us, compete. maybe our clients, maybe our clients. For example, yeah. clients come to it and say, oh, I want you to make this creation. It does show her yeah. point of view. Yeah. Some people come to me. I want to, for example, they say, oh, <laughs> create something for me. Some people don't even tell me what they're going to be. For example, mm -hmm. for in my case, my strongest season is Halloween. Mm -hmm. As eight eyes know, is the, the holidays. That's yeah. one of, of your best season mm -hmm. uh, as well. And people come to Halloween and they say, Roberto, I'm going to dress up like this. What are you going to make for me? Exactly. And then I just create and go with the flow. Did you bring one of your um, Halloween outfits? Yes, actually, I made this one. My client, she wants to ins get inspired in the Black Swamp. And yes. we decide to bring, and I decide to make this one for her. Beautiful. To represent the movie, and we made the the wings completely full of feathers. We are nice structure, so it can be comfortable for the dog to wear. And it might look a little big, as you can see in the camera. 
And when you put on the dog, well, if you want, we can try it on we vanilla. Can, we can try it on vanilla. On while, vanilla while, while, while you guys show another, another outfit, design. I'll you see, oh, vanilla, is getting, try that. vanilla yes. is getting undressed on camera. Undress. Oh, 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 porn oh, TV oh, for dogs. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Pop, pornography. <laughs> pornography. <laughs> I know, right, okay. dog. Yeah. What would you call it, right? So this is a well-elaborated gown that we made with feathers and adding a little sequins and... Mm -hmm. increase those basically yeah. i don't want to add more to more details because you we don't want to make it too uh -huh. heavy for the dog to and wear and you see how easy it is to fit and, oh, wow that's mm -hmm. easy to wear that was like that and uh -huh. we just add this little strap on with velcro while we may as well so it can give support and and there she is and you will see her walking wow. right now beautiful and look like a black swan that's nice and it looks comfortable yeah. like very comfortable you think we can put her on the floor so they can see her come walking here. come here mama come on nena <laughs> she shakes, that's normal. Chee -chee. Mm? She <laughs> you can carry that. <laughs> there she is. But Aww. basically that's also one of my main goals. Make sure that every costume that I make for, for my clients, they have to be wearable. Recently exactly. we made a huge um how do you call it? I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but they will kill me. I make a huge oh. costume for Halloween. It's like a peacock costume. Nice. That will be competing this week at the Tompkin Square, Spar uh, Tompkin Square Park Parade with one of my clients. Nice. And mm -hmm. you can see the dog running around with these big feathers in green and blue. A uh, really cute, cute I know. outfit I told for you them. I just wonder sometimes like how they're feeling, like having all the cameras on them and... Like, Sometimes you know I, mean? I like, think they enjoy the attention of the uh, You know, it's, it, dogs, dogs respond to praise. And by having the, you know, when, when we have them wearing outfits, they're getting, they, get, they get a lot of praise. So they relate that to attention sure, and exactly. they tend to like it. Um, you know, I always watch for how their mood is on that day also because exactly. just like us, oh, sometimes they're not up to the part. <laughs> and that's why probably I have so many because <laughs> <laughs> I leave one and I grab the other one. You know, for me it's as simple as that. Yeah, for me it's as simple as that. But, you know, it, it definitely has to be something that the animal enjoys. I don't like to, to push animals to do something yeah, that, that, you they're know, not that they're not exactly. comfortable with because priority is their safety and their security and that they are loved and cared for you know with or without clothes exactly. they are your, yeah they are your pets you care for them and and treat them you know the best that you can i know i love pets yeah look at her yeah don't oh. steal her <laughs> i know right i'm like but that one is that one is taking oh. <laughs> you don't want to go home with me no <laughs> right, Vanilla? But, as you know, there are many shelters now that are taking that you like to take our dogs. But yes. there are, as you know, yeah. some of my dogs are rescued too, and I can speak by myself, that there are many dogs in me outside too, as well. Mm -hmm. Like different rescue groups. We work also with InkyBlueSea.com, that is one mm -hmm. of the organizations located in Puerto Rico, and they bring pets to, mm -hmm. to the USA through Miami and New York and other Wag dogs. Waggy Tail Rescue, Waggy Tail, Animal, Casey, Haven, Animal Haven, Sean Casey, Animal Rescue. I mean, wow. there's a lot of groups in the city that are constantly saving and rescuing animals, not yes. only dogs, cats, cats birds, birds, whatever, you know. Exactly, uh, I mean, you go to Sean Casey Rescue and then you will see Madagascar roaches, parrots, uh, you know, they even find, you know, little alligators. The, some of these animals are not legal to have in New York, like ferrets also. Uh, so, but there are other states that allow them. So they go with a group of them and then they go to different, to these other states where they can have them adopted out. And of yes. course, person have, nice. uh, the people have to fill out the, the requirements and all of that. But yeah, because right now, I, I know like I've heard on the news that a lot of people have been stealing animals. Yeah, which they've been having a lot of issues with that lately. Well, that, that, that's something that started, listen, I'm, again, you know, yeah. I started in 2005. I can tell you some stories that yeah. you'll be surprised. But uh, uh, like probably around 2006, we had a case of a little Yorkie that was stolen. And the owners offered a big reward that they ended up paying. And the dog was returned, for what I understand. But wow. this is something that, that it became a trend. Mm -hmm. So that's why, in a way... Uh, that started to make me also aware of my own animals and be a little careful where we were going. Unfortunately, some kids find it fun 
that all the when they see owners walking their dogs in the park and then they go running, cut the leash so the animal goes and runs. Yes. Aww. You see, that was another trend that was happening in Tompkins Square Park and in Union Square Union Park. Union Square. Oh wow. So you see, when, when you had yeah, unfortunately, you know, again, you know, it's, there's the good about why they do it. Who knows? You know. Yeah. For me, you know, they need help. Don't do that, kids. <laughs> Stay away from cutting people's dogs and leashes. Yeah. It's not cool. Yeah. You know. If you wouldn't want it to happen to you, so don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> also, their own kids. It's basically yeah. some because people. It is your, your own child, you know. It's like if I had a fish, I mean, you know, or whatever, a cat. I wouldn't want somebody to come and harm well, my they animal. They are jeopardizing the life of the animal because obviously, when you have a pet in in a leash, the owner is controlling mm -hmm. that the animal first doesn't hurt another person or they don't get hurt themselves. Exactly. So but the moment that they got off leash in a public space it's like that where well, it could be overwhelming and then there's no control over what anything can happen because at the end, as good as Vanilla is and behave as she is, at the end she's an animal and that cannot guarantee 100% mm -hmm. how she's going to react. Sure, yeah. exactly. So I always, you know, I am the human, I'm the one with the brains, I'm the one who has to think, mm -hmm. <laughs> you exactly. know, and, ha and be prepared. True. So, you know, when somebody does something like that, when they call the leash of an animal just to see them run, they're jeopardizing the life of that pet because it can run to the streets and get hurt or it can get so scared that it can attack a person or a child. Imagine if, if a parent is walking with a child and the animal is so scared mm. they jump and I hurt a child. Oh you know, so there's a lot of things that goes into it and people don't think about. But you know, but maybe but you know, it's good for them to be dressed so that way they're easy to identify and you identify. can pick them right away. Yeah. <laughs> that was a great connection. Yeah. <laughs> Now show me some more dresses. Let's see what what you have, well, Ada. No, you're still what I have. Let's mm -hmm. show you. Okay. Yeah, let's start right with here. you, and then we okay. Can... Well, I have one outfit that I that I wanted to show oh, you, favorites. and I wanted to share. <laughs> and this is like an oldie but goodie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I did this outfit for oh uh, for a feature <laughs> on on FIT for Pet Fashion Week mm -hmm. here in New York City, and it's a uh, and I and it's from the collection of the Mulan Rouge. Wow. It was. Yes. It was shown for the first time on the Pre Westminster Fashion Show. That's a show that I am the crea creative director and fashion designer for seven years now. Uh, the next one is happening on February 10 of 2012. And this is uh, from the collection of the Moulin Rouge. Uh, it's uh, French black ribbons with sequins and embroidery. Uh, it has the. I wanted to a lot give, of detail. I wanted to give the feeling of a, of a, you know like a Renaissance era or, or very Victorian romantic times for her. And then I have a friend again collaboration. I have a friend. <laughs> her name is Nina, who makes hats for nice. dogs. Um, yeah, her name is what she has Luna's Brat Pack, and then she made me the hat to go with with that, and then. Oh my so God, vanilla. That's a cute little hat. I want to wear it. So, <laughs> so she made the hat to go to match on the dress. That dress, I call it the Enterprise because it has gone where I haven't <laughs> gone. It has been featured in Pet Fashion Week Tokyo, Pet Fashion Week Brazil, Pet wow. Fashion Week New York, um, and then I keep featuring it because it's just such a unique piece, and and I'm no, very proud of making piece. it. Yeah. And How Vanilla, long did that take you? <laughs> this took me a while because it, it, first of all, I have I had another idea of mine, and it didn't come up as uh, you know, I, like Roberto mm -hmm. says, I wanted to make something that Vanilla was comfortable with, and she will will be able to walk on the runway. And the other design came a little too strong, so I had to do a few changes. But then you know, I look for fabric that. For, I love satin. I love working this with satin. Valuable. Yes, because yeah. it's uh, it's very soft, and then it doesn't match their coat when they're wearing it. You have to think like there's a little Yorkies and Maltese's. I have a long lot. Of, I, I have a lot of long coat uh, clients, dogs, <laughs> 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 and then I'm always looking for fabric that is not going to, uh, you know jeopardize their coat or, or exactly. hurt them in any way so satin is one of my favorites very nice mm -hmm. um, what do we have here well we have here a little black gown that i made for a puppy prom that one of my dogs was wearing actually and this one we added you know a little sequence on the neck and a little details over here to resolve the colors of the yellow and match with the pink flowers also we have here some 
embroidering materials in black sequins as well so it can match with like a little bit more a little french style called nice. culture on I this like on this gown i like to play a lot with cultures i have made arabian prints egyptians nice. you know i like to play with the culture and incorporate them into into my fashions that's awesome and so this i have one dress of yours here that interests me the most like, yeah, yeah well that's <laughs> very like chick you yes. know what I mean? very well, hip that you know first of all you know that i made that for an episode where i where i was a, a pet stylist at ice loves coco and they have a bulldog named spartacus spartacus <laughs> birthday is on february and they wanted to have something that would be trendy and good for the birthday so that's why the birthday hat but then you know coco gave me the feeling of being a very trendy girl and then I thought, you know, having a spartacus in kind of tattoos, but of course you cannot make tattoos on the so dog, much, but, you exactly. can, but you can do it on the outfit. And that's, <laughs> and that's where the whole idea of the skulls and the rose and the heart came up, came yeah. about. This mm -hmm. is very nice. And that's like a nice vest. And he, look, he looks so cute in it. And that's another episode. I mean, he had, uh, in the whole, in, he had a whole collection of outfits that I made for him. This is very really good. Yeah, he looked, he... I mean, it's just like the detail and everything that you guys do. It's just amazing. You know what I mean? This well, you know, we take a lot of time and effort on thinking of, of you know, first the ideas that come to mind, how to make them, uh, how to create them, how to make them possible. And then after that, you know, you have to look for fabrics, for the threads, for the, mm -hmm. you know, it's a lot of thing that, that goes into it. It's a lot of love. It's a <laughs> lot of love. And then when you finally, you know, come out with something that you are that you're satisfied you're very proud of then you show it off and then and then even more when a person feels identified with that outfit and they want to buy it for their dog i mean my biggest thrill probably is when i go somewhere and i see or, or people send me pictures of their dogs yes. wearing my outfits i just that's feel, you amazing. know that's the biggest thrill that i get i know i bet the clients they they're like in love with you. Well, I'm <laughs> in love too, with you them. Know what I mean, like they must be like, oh my god, Ada, please make me that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in you love know? with them because yes. they're also different, you know, different breeds, different coats, different colors. Uh, you know, is 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 like a melting pot in there with the animals. And now, you know, I like I said, you know, it's not only the dogs. Yeah. I jump to the cats. I'm, I did. How, oh, now let me ask you about the yes. cats because <laughs> I know the cats are a little jumpy. They're more you know not so like dogs They're well um you know amazingly first of all let me just say that i've been into the cat world just for a year when we rescue martini and her cat and thinks he's a chihuahua yeah my cat <laughs> i think he's a long coat chihuahua and it has been an uh, like an eye opening for me uh this is a cat that was on the streets and it was found by this girl named Catherine Walton. And thanks to him, she created the Street Cat, the American Street Cat, which is an organization mm -hmm. now in Brooklyn okay. that uh, is dedicated to save the neighborhood, you know, cats. cats. And then my cat, Martini, and some of her cats that she has rescued, even though they come from the street, we have been able to dress them. Really? So I have find <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and then actually, I'm wow. working with Diane West, who is the New York City cat meetup organizer to okay. see if we can have a little cat fashion show in December. Wow. Yeah. I want to see said, that. Let, yeah. Give me an invite for that one. No, yes. And by Ada saying this, you can see that rescued pets can be trained. Mm -hmm. exactly. that, that doesn't mean that they can be harmful because many people have the, how do you say, the idea that by going to a shelter or rescuing a cat, or though they might be getting a, a dog with a lot of issues that they will not be able to control. Yeah, they can really. be trained and mm -hmm. they can be and they can be really great. But they just have this personality because they want the attention, they want the love, and that's what mm -hmm. they're getting, you know. Exactly. Yes. My cat thinks he is, you know, the biggest thing on this planet <laughs> when he gets dressed in a tuxedo and a hat. Oh. And uh, he's Athena's <laughs> best friend, by the way. Yes, uh, Ma Martini loves <laughs> Athena. Uh, yeah, so, you know, it's, it's you know, I, I mean, all, I try to use this as a way to create awareness and attention to the animals, yeah. mostly. Exactly. So people can see, you know, that it's not just having a pet at home 
or in the back, you know, people, I mean, we live in the city, we don't have, my, our backyard is New York City. city. Yeah. <laughs> so we have a lot of places we can go, but let's say people in the country, the servers that have a, a backyard, they leave their dogs in there. You know, it's just a way that I'm trying to use to communicate that they can bond with the animals doing different things and have fun with exactly. them yes. and have them become members of their family. That's you know, it's, a, it's as simple as that. And then, uh, you know, just do it through something that is fun. You might not like to do it, you know, all the time. You don't have to, so you know. Just like, once. Just, treat just, your yeah, pet. well, like, like, like <laughs> treat now. your pet. Now. Yes. <laughs> now, you know, just like now, like for Halloween, you know, now is the howling win for the dogs. So, <laughs> where people are so creative and they just come up with great ideas or ask designers, mm -hmm. you know, like Roberto, which make the best costumes, <laughs> um, you know, to come up for something so they can go to events with their pets and exactly. enjoy it That's you know awesome. so the whole idea is just that is you know uh, we uh, we don't want to 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 lose the focus that uh you know it's uh, at the end it's all about the pet Very cool. mm -hmm. now we have to be really hard on our feet and put it on there because sometimes people think that we are just doing this for fashion it's mm -hmm. really hard for us when you know when you are in a, on this growing and really competitive industry being able to create your fashions and people mm -hmm. just point at you and think that we are doing this just as i said before fashion and dressing up their dogs and mm -hmm. they think it's harmful exactly. but now we are using this as Ada said communication education mm -hmm. and prevention you know mm -hmm. because after people get their right education we can prevent many cases of yeah. mm -hmm. puppy meals mm -hmm. abandoned men living animals on the shelf. let me tell you a person that is going to invest Let's just say minimum a fifty dollars on an outfit, a unique outfit, or sixty, a hundred dollars. And the, the higher it goes, but the more you think, not not because we're put, <laughs> not 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 putting uh, you know value on love and care, but of course you're not gonna put that amount of money on something yes. that you're just gonna drop on the shelter. Exactly. So you see, so it's I kind of relate one with the other and put yeah. it you know connected. Connected. Uh, yeah. So. So if a dog has a whole closet, honey, he's staying home forever. Yes. <laughs> it's all about us. We have to make spacing our closet yeah. for our dog's clothes. So you guys can I imagine. have some fan questions for you guys. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bring them out here. I'm young, beautiful, and I love everybody. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I have a question from Lisa Alexander from New York City. Okay. okay. Um, she says, which is your favorite pet design for and what are the differences? And also, what is your favorite pet in the house? Hint, hint. <laughs> oh. Okay. My, my favorite uh, what, pet fashion design? Um, what is your favorite pet design for and what are the differences? Okay. My favorite fashion design. I would say the harnesses and the matching leeches because they, they're more like a daily wear outfit. Okay. And you can just take them to the park or, you know, if you have to run to an event, you can, they can go to the event at the same time. And it, they still look, you know, playing the part and wearing yeah. something, you know. Uh, which one is my favorite pet at home? Martini. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I love all my really pets all equally. <laughs> but I have to say that, you know, since Martini came to our life, the cat, he has brought another... Uh, uh, how can I say? He has brought. He has like been kind of an eye opener. I uh, have made me uh, think on coming out of the box exactly. and not thinking on dressing just dogs, but dressing cats or rats, rats. Mm. Or, you know, or, <laughs> rats or, yeah, oh yeah, or or other pets. I'm I'm just you know I'm just going uh, in an evolution now thanks to Martini, uh, where I am trying to reach other kind of pets or type of pets That's where awesome. I can have the same fun. That's awesome. So if you have other pets, pigs, anything, <laughs> cool. Yeah. Oh Close. my God. Yeah. Pig. It's always a new challenge. <laughs> yeah. Or a horse maybe. A pot belly pig, a horse, you know. I don't know if I could have a pig. <laughs> <laughs> a cat. That would be scary. <laughs> they're actually uh, very popular and in America and they're very cute. Yes. Very smart. They're, they, I don't have a pig, but what I have heard, uh, they are very dog-like <laughs> and behave, and they are as, okay. as quick learners as the dogs. Oh, nice. So yeah. Now, what about you? Well, what's my favorite designs? I will say, as I said before, Halloween. I think that's where I can express myself. I can use 
from feather, from rhinestones, from colors, and go as crazy. crazy. I can <laughs> let my imagination go <laughs> and put it on the dog, of course, in a safety way. And I think that's one of my favorite designs because I feel like most of the times people always like matching outfits for with the mm -hmm. clients. I love doing that too. When that's clients good. have a, a dress or something, a gown that they want to wear for a red carpet, and they come to us and they say, Roberto, I want to to create something to match my outfit, that's where I let my inspiration go and I just enjoy it. That's awesome. Also as the custom, my favorite pet will be, I have my four dogs. You know, people say I love all of them, but I will say Heckling, since she was my first dog. Uh, okay. And you know, she was like the stepping that's stone why she for had, me. That's She's why she has the better hair. Yeah. <laughs> what, right? what, what can we do? What can we do in this? <laughs> I don't no, know. But basically, I think I will say heckling since, you know, I never had a dog before and I always wanted and I was so blessed to that she was given to me and I have a whole process with her when I got her. Nice. And I feel so in touch because I have to bring her to school, to my job because she was a little sick puppy when she was like three weeks old when I rescued her. <laughs> and for me, I will wow. say that she's like the one who's more close to me, but that doesn't mean that I don't love my other pets and all the pets around. Mm -hmm. Because she's I, the one that inspired you. Yeah, she's words. the inspired me. And I will say that she's the one that set my point at that moment. Like she marked, but every single dog have been marking my life too as well because they've been doing different mm -hmm. things. We all mm -hmm. to each one of their stories, you learn something new. Mm -hmm. Each pet have a different totally yeah. personality yes that some people think we are crazy we say oh my dog do this and they act like this and do and do one action like the other one or jump over there people think like oh i don't think a pet would do, be doing that exactly. or the face expression of the dog you can yeah. even tell yeah. and it's something that i have learned with my dogs to each one of them i can tell you that athena She's the spoiled one. She likes to be carried, pamper, and love around. Heckling, she have a diva attitude. She wants to be on her own. Mm. She just wants to be running around and, of course, next to me. DJ, he's a charm one. He's <laughs> really smart. He will try to find a way to escape or to jump or to go through one oh, chair so to uh -huh. another one. And what about Abby? Abby is my baby. That's the one. <laughs> but I think I, sometimes I feel bad. I say, oh my God, I have a, so much love for Abby mm. because she likes to, to cuddle too much. She demands the attention. She mm. goes to, straight to your friend. She will be like, give me kisses, lick me. And she starts biting <laughs> you and giving you kisses. She, she's like the wild dog of the house. <laughs> like the crazy one. She will be running around. Oh. And that, I think that's the one who captivated me the most. Like, well, she me in active. my home, the wild dog is me. <laughs> That's what I thought. It was, it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I have another it's question. Out. It's out and there. It's out. How has getting involved in dog world changed your lives? Do you think it's changed you as a person? This is from Sofia Kutsia. Oh, absolutely. When, you know, um, I, I am from Puerto Rico, originally from Puerto Rico. And when I came here, I was very much aware of my language limitation. I'm still out because my, my mind all, is always in Spanish mode. <laughs> I don't change that. So sometimes when it comes out, it doesn't come out the way that I would really like yeah. maybe the pronunciation, <laughs> what I really want to say, because words can differ and be uh, a different meaning just by translating. So I was very aware for that. So I. I, I was, uh, you can say, I was shy and quiet. And then I got my, you know, my first dog, and it was like I started to make friends immediately. It, people started to notice me. And then it gave me, you know, it gave me like, a, like, like a, a comfort feeling because I saw how other people were relating to me for the love of my pet. Mm -hmm. and and I kind of said you know what uh, there's so many we, we are in New York this is the melting pot we have people from all cultures <laughs> and backgrounds yes. and languages and we all understand each other so you know what if at the end they don't know what I'm saying okay. I go sign language you know <laughs> <laughs> so, or just say yes and oh, yeah, yes uh, <laughs> see 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 Jose <laughs> <laughs> so no and absolutely so my, my life absolutely changed in them and then people started noticing me I started to make friends um and then that made me change the industry that I was working at to the dog one. And it, it has been, you know, an amazing list of, of blaze, blessings and, 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 you know, amazing things that have happened since. And I am just so grateful for the people that, uh, you know, take this 
old crazy woman with all her things, <laughs> with all her dolls and the cat and everything, you know, and, and they accept me as, you know, who I am and, and the way I am. And uh, it's, it's, you know, I've been very lucky. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Yes. Well, on my case, I will say that they changed my life a lot because when a dog come to your life, they bring a lot of joy and happiness. Not just is that as a companion, but as support. Sometimes you feel you can feel one day sad, and they can give you die stress, die stress. It's somebody that you have to live for too, as well, because they depend from you. So you have to be on top. Like it's like people say, "Hey," when we say this sometimes, but they're like childs for us. Mm -hmm. So we have to be on top of them, taking care of them, feeding them, bathing yeah. them, and other hundred things, taking them to their doctors and. Those are things that make you, give you more responsibility in your life that way before I go, mm -hmm. I never had. Exactly. And with all those responsibilities that came, came a lot of joy. They make me happy. As Ada said, it makes you introduced to a new, different world that I never even met thought before. Of, you know, yeah. Even thought to me because... Even, even yeah. thought of. Right now, of. I am uh -huh. where I am, or we are where we are right now, is because of our pets and the mm -hmm. love that we have for them and all the effort that we put on them because we never were looking for this. Mm -hmm. It's something that they brought to us. Mm -hmm. We got them, we start doing this for love to them and look where we are right now. It becomes like a, a, a new her journey that keeps changing and changing mm -hmm. every day and we keep learning something new. This is something that we bond, you know, we, we relate to other people and, and they understand it because they, they have the same passion. The same passion. With, uh, with their pets as we do. Exactly. See? So. It, now let me ask, um, what, what are you guys working on now? Like, what is coming up for you guys? Well, right. well, we have a lot of things, okay, yes. like for me. So um, I know that Roberto has a fashion show on October 28th. Yeah, we are having that fashion show at the Roger Smith Hotel. We are supporting the Mayoral Alliance, and it will be a fashion show where I will be showing a little collection for Christmas, a little preview collection of, of my Christmas dresses and tuxedos. Mm -hmm. And But at the same time, we're going to have performers over there mm -hmm. on where we have Mr. P. Bass over here that will be singing, <laughs> opening my fashion show. Yes, make sure you guys come. I'm going to be performing. Yeah, as we okay. say, it's in support. I'm going to be first row. It is yeah. a, a fundraiser <laughs> event and to support, you know, those pets in need. Also, mm -hmm. it's going to be a Halloween costume ball where people can come and dress, dress up, up and we're going to have a contest and it's for Bobby and the Stray. Oh, I'm sorry. But, yeah. Bobby and the Stray that we call Pops on the Wrong Way, this show. So I'm really mm -hmm. happy that Dana Humphrey and Bobby Mitchell invited me to form part of this amazing, amazing. event. I mm -hmm. can't wait. It's going to yeah, be amazing. Yeah, we're looking it's for it. Awesome. And then on November 13th, we're... No, wait, wait. Um, uh -huh. Where can they go and get the tickets? If they oh, yeah, they go? can go to eventbrite.com and buy their tickets. Or also they can follow me on my page on Heckling Couture for Dogs by Roberto Negrin on Facebook. And there you can get all the links related to this event. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then Ada, what do you got coming Well, up? I have two big shows coming up, and maybe a third if we the, the cat fashion show in December. But before that, on November 13th, we're having the first pet fashion show at Bryan Park. Ooh. And then that one, we're, we're doing it in collaboration with Best Bodies. That's an organization uh, that helps children with disabilities. Oh, wow. So it's That's very good. dear to me, yes. And then uh, the, the organizer is uh, Alison Joseph uh, Maureen, who are the author and the graphic designer of a book called Carlos in Chris, Christmas Feet. Christmas Feet. Christmas Feet, yeah, Carlos. Know. Carlos is a French bulldog that goes around the city and have different adventures. And then he has his family that make these books and tell everybody about it. Nice. So so they are the ones who, who do this event in, in Bryan Park every year and they invite me to be part of it. And then we, cool. just, we just love it. And then the other one, my baby, the Pre Westminster Fashion Show on February 10, 2012, where we have a display of the of pet fashions, uh, the latest products in the market, mm -hmm. an exhibition of that, and then uh, my my pride, which is the awards ceremony, where we give recognition to people from the dog community or the pet community, yeah. and we recognize their efforts and the hard work that they do throughout the year, and you know, and give them. Give Something them the back. Rec give yeah. them the recognition they deserve sure. exactly. for being involved in the community, for being uh, people that and, and and the pets, you know, uh, do something to to help build the community and to make this a better world. 
Now, um, where you said that's going to be a convention type thing? Uh, yes, the Pre Westminster Fashion Show happens at Pre Westminster, which is Westminster is a, okay. the Kennel Club oh, show. dog show that happens oh, every year. Gotcha. Our show happens uh, the Friday before. <laughs> Uh, the Pennsylvania Hotel, which, by the way, is getting the award for the most uh, pet-friendly hotel of the year, awesome. because we've been doing this for seven years with them, and now, then. Uh, where do you want everybody, um, if they want to look up that information, where's your website? The PrevestMrFashion.com. And then what's your website? www.adanieves.com. Very simple. My name at the dot com, and you and find me. It. Yeah. Well, <laughs> guys, make sure to look up for Ada Navias, Nieves .com, and also Hegling Couture, Couture for, dogs. for Dogs on Facebook and Hegling.com. Yes. And thank you guys for watching the PVAS show and thank you guys Yay. for coming. I really appreciate it. And we'll yeah. see you next time. Oh, thank you so much for having us. Bye guys. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. <laughs>